My DCMikeTV.com right here with DeMond, the best edit Nicholson. Mm -hmm. Here after his victory, he's now 17-0. 17-1. 17-1 with 16, 16 knockouts. knockouts. Yes, sir. Uh, talking about your fight, obviously, you know, you got used to, you know, knocking um, everybody out. Yeah, I got used time. to knocking everybody out uh, tonight. Had a tough dude. You know, I heard him a lot of times in the fight, but uh, he took it. He took it, you know. Um, great learning experience for me, you know. Uh, yeah. From here, all the only thing I could do is just pick up on what I need to work on and get better for uh, each the next fight that I have, you know. Um, I learned a lot from this fight, and I'm glad that I learned because now I know exactly what I need to work on and exactly yeah. what I need to do in the gym. So my next fight, um, I look a, a, a thousand times better. Yeah, mm -hmm. I talked to a few people, and they was like, you know, Demar could have got him out of there, but he was, you know, kind of taking his time. Yeah, Do yeah, you feel like you yeah. were taking your time? Yeah. You could have maybe got so, him out of there? I, I could probably, I, t I was taking my time. I was taking my time, um, you know. I never really been, I never, I haven't been more than six rounds, you know, yeah. so towards the later rounds, you know, my hands was hurting a little bit, okay. so I didn't want to put a lot, of, whole lot of pressure on my hands, so I was just winning rounds, you know, but um, yeah. I could have got him out of there, yeah. I could have got him, I should have got him out of there, I, yeah. I could have, I should have. You going to stay at 160? Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir, I'm going to stay at 160. You know, I just got to be more disciplined with myself, you know, and with my, uh, with myself outside yeah. of the gym, you yeah. know, as far as my eating habits and stuff like that, yeah. you know, as long as you stay disciplined and sacrifices. On, uh, you can only get better. Yeah. Now, how did it feel going past six rounds? Were you? How was your um, conditioning? Uh, my conditioning was great, man. Okay, you know, okay. um, my conditioning was great. I stood up. I didn't sit down none of the rounds. Okay. You know, uh, <laughs> I felt I could turn. I was trying to turn it up whenever I can. I got, you know, it was a lot. Of, it was a lot of little mishaps that that I I, could, I caused to myself. You know, wow. but, um, where whereas though I didn't really let my hands go yeah. because I get in, I over pursue, or I get in there, get head butted, or yeah. you know, not. My feet weren't right, you know, just right. little small things, you know. Dude was a southpaw, you know. Okay. Um, I didn't really get a whole lot of work with the southpaw in this training camp. Okay. You know, so I mean, it showed, yeah. you know, that's, that's, that's about it. It's a game, yeah. you know, it's an all, every fight until the title, until the, the title fight is a learning experience, yeah. you know. So I mean, I'm I'm not exactly happy with my performance, but I'm happy with the W, you yeah. know. So how would you grade your performance between an A through a D, I guess? I give myself a C. Okay. A C. Yeah. C. I mean, you kind of learned on the job today. You know, you huh? I see you were kind of learning on the job. Yeah, you know, the train job. for yourself. Learn the job. Like, every, every, and the crazy thing is, um, I'm a perfect, I perfect my craft. I, I've been boxing all my life. Yeah. And I know what I was doing wrong. You yeah. know, so that's the thing that I'm happy about. I know what I was doing wrong. And yeah. I know what I need to work on. The things that I, I knew I should have worked on in the ring, it kind of wasn't coming to me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So it came to me at the end a little bit. Where I almost had him out. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's boxing. You know, um, like I said, I see I make a little bit more sacrifices go outside of the gym, as far as yeah. my eating and things like that. Yeah. So that when it's, when it's time to work, it, the work is done. You know? Yeah. You talk about your eating oh, habits, like obviously you weighed in at 164. Yeah. Was that, you know, on, on purpose? Or were you trying to hit 160? It's on purpose. It was, okay. Weight comes 163 plus one. So okay, okay. That was, that was the weight it was supposed to make. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. I thought maybe the weight was like 160. Okay, 163.1. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, how you feeling right now? How soon would you like to get back in the ring? I'm feeling good. Uh, I'll probably get back. I would like to get back in the ring June. June? June, yeah. Okay. Yeah, not now. I don't want to rush it. Uh, hands a little sore. Okay. A little sore, so I'm not going to rush it. Take a, take a, I'm not going to take no days off. I'm going to go right back in the gym, but I'm not going to punch as much. You okay. Know, nothing like that. I'm just right. work on what I need to work on. So you had, had a pretty hard yeah. head? Yeah, damn hard head. Yeah, his head was very hard. When I went to the body, I slowed him down, but I didn't go to the body enough how I normally do. Yeah. You know, but like I said, I didn't get a chance to really spar with a lot of southpaws, which right. I'm not making excuses. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we've been boxing all our lives. But, yeah. you know, it's sometimes, you know, sometimes nights like this happen. I'm glad yeah. I got a great learning experience now. Time to capitalize. Yeah, now what's the difference between fighting a right hand and a southpaw? Um, it's actually a big, a big difference, muscle memory. You know, uh, sometimes you use, you use the punches coming from this side or that side, jab coming from here, yeah. you know. So, so, so when you fight somebody on the opposite side, it kind of throws you off, you know. Yeah. I sparred uh, Lantez Fox for about a month straight. Okay. You know, he's 6'5", you know, 6'5", yeah. he's <laughs> right-handed. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 and I can not get in there with a smaller guy, it's kind of difficult, you know. Right, right. But I mean, I got the win. I'm proud of that. But uh, it's time to get better, back and better, you know. Okay. Let's talk about a few upcoming fights. Obviously, we got Austin Trout in the building. Yes, sir. Um, yes, he's sir. Uh, taking on. I um, wish he would have been here a month earlier, man. Yeah. <laughs> a month earlier. Yeah. He's taking on uh, Jamal Charlo, I yes, think, sir. May 21st in Texas. Yep. What yep. do you think about that fight? Uh, Austin, uh, Austin is the veteran. You know, uh, off, off, and he's training with us now. Yeah. You know, so um, 
when it's time to bite down, he's definitely gonna be able to bite down because uh, you know we all we all gonna bring it out of him. You know, our coach Barry, Coach yeah. Patrice, yeah. Jamie, um, our coach Jeff, we're gonna bring it out of him. You know, yeah. so uh, expect Austin to go in there ready to work box. He can he gonna be able to box, bang, yeah. whatever whatever he need to do to yeah. get it done. He's gonna do. Yeah, you're off. You're off there. Can you come in real quick. No. Thanks, man. Mom got the biggest. What can you tell about Demar Nicholson? What, man. What can you tell me about? This the first time you've been to this one. Yeah, first time. First man. time. <laughs> well, shoot, man. That's a world well experience. Mm -hmm. uh, he probably ain't gonna go the distance too many more times mm -hmm. either. Yeah. It means the kid got mad strength. Yeah. I love spawn with this dude because you know my defense goes up like five points. Okay. I mean, like it's a video game. My defense <laughs> plus five. And yeah. I'm not getting hit with those right hands. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So what do you think of his performance tonight? No, he did good. He should be pushed it a little bit. He probably could have had him out of there. Yeah, yeah. But the ring, the ring work, I feel the experience was was gold and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You needed one of those. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That dude was tough. He wasn't going nowhere. Exactly. <laughs> but they ain't always gonna go nowhere. Exactly. Exactly. And I just had to understand that, you know, just stick to the game plan. I'm gonna get the W. That's yeah, exactly. Yep. 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 Right, with DeMond, the best edit Nicholson, one of the hardest yes, punches in the middleweight division. Yes, DeMond, thank you for your time, sir. I appreciate it.